Today we're going to be covering how to build out an AI voice agent inside of Just Call. If you want to know how to do just a standard Just Call setup, well that's another video. You can go to my website ewcrm.com. This video needs you to have an established system, so let's talk about it. First of all, I've got three phone numbers established for this class. I've got a main hotline to my company, ewcrm.com. This is what I'm going to assign the AI agent, the voice agent to. I have a direct line, a Ethan Direct, which has hours on it, 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. I have an emergency call hotline that I have established 24 hour hot, uh, phone number or 24 hour hours so that if I need to put one of my employees on this, they can answer the phone. And if one of our clients has a CRM meltdown or their website explodes and they need to get a hold of me and they need me to fix it immediately, they can certainly do that. So let's go. Now that I've got the three phone numbers, I'm going to start right out. So. I have created a voice agent named Ethan Wood Consulting Agent. I've assigned it to the main phone number and I've got some agent actions that I've scheduled, that I've put in here. I've got it set up to schedule appointments. I've got it schedule, uh, set up to schedule and transfer those calls. I've got it set up to do data collection to gather the person's name and the email address and their phone number. So I am going to take a look. Let's go into the editor. So first of all, I have the ability to change out what language that I want. So I started out, you can uh, change it to multi-language if you'd like to, multilingual, it can switch, it can sense the language, Portuguese, Japanese, Dutch, whatever. Standard US, you could do UK, uh, English, whatever. I've chosen Lucas. I ha there's a large, large list, as you see, of many, 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 many male and female voices that are there. You can also customize and create your own voice. So if you want to have Liam Neeson uh, be your AI agent, you can certainly take some sound clips from Liam Neeson and you can build it. I'd recommend getting his permission. Moving on. So agent role. Again, Just Call created all of this. I just made some simple tweaks and modifications. You are So this is establishing who is the agent, okay? Right here, write a quick intro for the agent, who their name is and what their role is. So you are Lucas, your support agent, you're responsible for hand around customer interactions, bookings, necessary, whatever. If I was to have a different style, let's go take a look. If I was to create one from template, Just Call is an amazing company. I am a big cheerleader of this company. They're awesome. Here's all the different templates that they have built out the receptionist, they've got the category, they've got the, the uh, vertical as well, financial industries, energy, education, student onboarding, lead qualification, a 24-hour support. You've got all these different templates that you've got or you could build out your own. So I built out my own and that's what Mr. Lucas here is. So Lucas came with an agent personality. Use a calm, supportive, emphatic tone to make your customers and again, this is all can come from Just Call. You can uh, you can grab their help file. You can change the personality of your agent. Maybe you want them. It's a, a female, and maybe you're into more of a female to category where you're selling makeup to younger girls, and you want it to be a more of a younger, friendlier type of an agent to fit that clientele. You could do you basically you could create your agent's personality to fit your clientele. Again, more communication styles that you can download and you can copy and paste from Just Called uh, regarding uh, all the different things. Keep it informative, engaged, and basic rules about the bot. Next up is the call flow. So you got two different options here. You can either choose a predefined message. So I have chosen, I wrote this out. Hello, thank you for calling Ethan Wood Consulting. My name is Lucas. How can I help you today? If I wanted to do Maybe I was needing to pre-qualify that. Maybe I'm in construction and I'd like to gather some information. So I could say, instead of this, how can I help you? Because I'm a services company and I need my clients to respond and I need them to ask questions to Lucas to say, I'm interested in Ethan building me a CRM system or I can't figure out how to set up Just Call or any of the other services that I do. But say if I was a construction company and I wanted to do a basic checklist of items. So I wanted to say, Please give me the address of the property. Please give me the square footage of the property. Please, how many bedroom and bath? Do you have an outdoor pool? Whatever that may be, you could ask all those qualifying questions right here, okay? Pretty simple stuff, okay? Now I've got right here, again, I didn't create this. I copy and pasted it. Seven basic rules for the agent's flow. 
ask for the user's information and personalize, okay? Greet them, warm using their name and introduce yourself as, a vo as their voice assistant. So it goes through basic um, flow of what I want, how I, what I want, and my call to action. At the end of the day, I want these people to schedule a call. I'd love them to pay me an hourly rate to do their services, okay? So, knowledge. I use ChatGPT and I said, I went, I said, go to my website and give me a business context that I can use for an AI bot for my webs or for my phones. And this is exactly what it spit out. So it says the, exactly what my company does, what sof softwares that I work with and how I put the tech stack together for, for uh, businesses. Okay. Next up, I use this knowledge base and I chose my website, Ethan Wood Consulting, which forwards the EWCRM. And I chose the direct pages that I wanted to have the knowledge base look at. And you may notice I have it choosing my reviews. The reviews actually chooses and words and keywords that are inside of the reviews are now available for the chatbot. Here's a perfect example. When I was testing this earlier today, I have nowhere on my website that I have connected DoorDash to Toast uh, POS system. I've done it before. I can do lots of kind of nerdy things like that. But in one of my reviews, one of my clients listed that. My, this bot was, Lucas was actually able to tell me during a testing that if I knew anything about restaurants and how to connect a point of sale, Lucas actually said, Ethan specializes in connecting da, uh, uh, DoorDash to toast the POS systems. So not even on my website, just simply in my reviews. And the, the, uh, the bot was able to interpret that into a value building sales statement that might actually get me a sale. Okay, next up, actions. What do I want the bot to do? So I got three different things. First, most importantly, I'd love them to schedule an appointment. So let's go take a look at it. The caller asks, I'd like to book a call. So it doesn't have to be that exact verbatim wording of I'd like to book a call. It could, it could be anything in the variation. The AI can tell anything. I'd like to schedule a meeting with Ethan, whatever the client says. They're going to respond exactly like this. Certainly, let's get you on the calendar. Okay, I've connected my calendar through uh, my Google Calendar. I've connected it with my correct time zone. And Google, this will now check, my AI bot will check. Lucas will say, so if they say, hey, Ethan, or hey, Lucas, I wanna set up an appointment for uh, to speak with Ethan tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Lucas will say, hold on, let me take a look at Ethan's calendar. I'm sorry, Ethan's uh, currently booked at 10 a.m. Let's try another time. Two other outcomes that I have of actions that I want during this call. I want to have the emergency line, okay? So I have an emergency and I need to speak with Ethan right away. So somebody's CRM system melts down at three o'clock in the morning, they're gonna call, okay? I want that phone to ring, I wanna be able to hear it, I wanna jump on the phone, I wanna, I wanna take care of my clients. Or I have one of my team assigned on the after hours, it's their turn to answer the phone and we're firefighters, we answer the phone 24 hours a day here. So the AI agent will respond, okay, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm transferring your call to Ethan now. Now that's going to transfer to my emergency line that I talked about at the beginning of this call that I established that has a 24-hour hotline uh, with a 24-hour of availability so it doesn't turn off during after hours. Next up, I've got the transfer type. So I could do a cold transfer just straight up. The AI agent Lucas will transfer the call and move on uh, with life. Or I could do a warm transfer where Lucas gets me on a three-way call and connects and says, hi, Ethan, I've got the client on the phone. His name is John Doe. He's got a CRM meltdown and he needs you desperately. Please, please help him, okay? Next up, I could do uh, a transfer just to speak with me directly. So I'd have sim more simpler. I'd like to speak with Ethan. Can you transfer the call to me? It doesn't have that emergency word like the other transfer does. And okay, he, it's, he may be in a meeting, but let me transfer you to his direct line or, and his voicemail. So if I happen to be in a meeting, at least the client knows they'll get my voicemail. If I'm not, the phone will ring on my Ethan direct line and I'll be able to get it. I've chosen a cold transfer, so I don't need the AI agent to explain to me who the call is, but you could. So lots of cool stuff that you can do. Next up, actions after the call. 
I want to get an email that says the caller's name, phone number, the reason for calling, and the call summary. The AI bot is going to build that all out. It's going to say exactly what the phone call took place, the, the transcript of the call, exactly what Lucas said, exactly what the client said. So as I've been building this out and getting this better and better, I've been uh, changing some of the voice speeds, the speaking style, and even in these advanced functions, I've been changing Lucas's responsiveness, how quickly, how long of a pauses does he have, does he have snappier replies and good at fast paced calls, input sensitivity again. So, so lots of different settings that you guys can set inside of here on the advanced settings. Another cool thing, you can set Lucas's background noise. Maybe you want to set Lucas in a call center and you want to give just a low background noise of a call center really to establish and build value in Lucas as the AI agent. Lots of cool stuff you can do. So let's go and try Lucas and let's see exactly what we set up and how it comes into reality. So let's make a call. Hello, thank you for calling Ethan Wood Consulting. My name is Lucas. How can I help you today? Hi, Lucas. This is Ethan himself. I'm actually training and doing a training video for everyone out there in the real world that may set up this AI voice agent from Just Call. Could you explain three of your best bullet points that they might use this service and might find a value in it for their company? Hi, Ethan. That sounds like an exciting training session. Here are three key bullet points highlighting the value of using this AI voice agent for businesses. One, 24 sevens, availability for customer support. This AI voice agent ensures that businesses can provide round the clock assistance to their customers, answering queries, booking appointments, and offering- Hey Lucas, do you have the ability for me to cut you off? If I said something, would you stop talking? And would you answer another question? Is that how this works? Absolutely, Ethan. If you interrupt or ask another question, I'll stop immediately and shift to address your new query. Feel free to test it out. I'm here to adapt to your flow. What's on your mind? Okay. How about if we restarted the call where you answer the call and you say your greeting message, then I, I can ask a question. What is Ethan Wood Consulting? Can you explain that to me? Of course, Ethan. Let's restart the call. Hello, thank you for calling Ethan Wood Consulting. My name is Lucas. How can I assist you today? Uh, you asked, what is Ethan Wood Consulting? Ethan Wood Consulting specializes in CRM automation setup and training for small to mid-sized businesses. We help companies streamline their sales and marketing processes. using. Okay, like that's Instagram awesome, Lucas. You've done a great job. What about the actions? How do I show somebody in this training that you can do some actions? You, uh, you have the ability to transfer calls, don't you? Thank you, Ethan. Yes, I can absolutely perform actions like transferring calls. For example, if someone needs to speak with you directly, I can transfer the call to your line or voicemail. I have two specific scenarios set up. One, emergency transfer. If it's urgent, I can transfer the call to you immediately. Two, general transfer. If someone just wants to speak with you, I can connect them to your direct line or voicemail, even if you're in a meeting. Would you like me to demonstrate one of these actions no, that's okay. What about uh, scheduling an appointment? You can send them directly to my calendar. What if there's a, a conflict on the calendar and I already have a meeting? Will you be able to tell that? Great question, Ethan. Yes, I can schedule appointments directly on your calendar. If someone requests a specific time, I can check your availability first. If there's a conflict, like an existing meeting, I'll offer alternative time slots to ensure there's no overlap. This way, everything stays organized and seamless. Would you like me to demonstrate scheduling an appointment? No, you've been amazing. Please put me on the protected list when you robots take over. I, I always say please and thank you. I appreciate you, Lucas. Thank you so much, Ethan. I'll make sure you're on the VIP list when the robots take over. Your kindness and humor won't go unnoticed. It's been a pleasure helping you. Have an amazing training session, and let me know if you need anything else. Take care. Okay, you're saying to yourself, I can't believe how awesome that was, right? I know, it's pretty amazing. So, if you've got any other questions, please feel free to contact me. Again, it's Ethan at EWCRM.com. You can go to my website and thank you.